What is up YouTube? This is He Got Kicks. I hope you all are having a blessed day today. It is definitely a hot one out there today for me. I'm glad to be off though. Um, first and foremost, before I get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, run the race to 20k by the end of 2019. Uh, this video today um, is going to be in thanks to another one of the homies. I appreciate you all. Uh, I've been thinking about copping this shoe, but he had it, so I wanted to look at it before I decide if I want to get it or not, because uh, it's still sitting on the Nike app, and uh, i just kind of really iffy about it, honestly. Um, it looks decent in pictures, but I want to see it in person, because you know how, you know, pictures never do any shoe any justice. But before I get into the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, this one will probably be a short review. Uh, I just wanted to bring this review to you guys, because... If I do the review, I might not even just have to cop it. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, but if I like it, you know me. I'm going to cop it. Here is a Jordan 1 box. Boom, boom. Regular. They're doing the new QR uh, codes on the label, which is pretty cool that they're doing that. Um, it is a size 9. It's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Defiant with the black, white, uh, tour yellow colorway style number cd6579 color code 071 suggested retail on these which is another one of the reasons which i guess it shouldn't be that big of a deal but retails 175 on them i mean i spend 190 200 on shoes so i guess it shouldn't be that big of a deal but you know ones at 175 eh i don't know but here they are here are the Tour Yellow Defiant Ones. On each side, they don't have like an actual like swoosh on it. You have, of course, like little like little stitchings that are poking out on them. I don't really know how I feel about that, uh, like at all. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird to feel that, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, the leather actually seems very nice on them actually all around the collar really nice um on the toe box let me pull this out i guess this is where they get the tour yellow from it is on the insole right there you have the nike air black nike air on the insole size 9 qr code uh and new uh size label on the inside right there not too bad here it's like a all leather uh, tongue so as you can see it's all leather there you have the stitched in uh, Nike Air which a little different which I, I still mean I just really don't know if I really like these that much you have kind of like a, a different kind of Air Jordan the wing logo I guess it's like stitched in I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a um, stamp or um, button or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird to see that. Um, the leather right here on the toe box, is it is actually pretty nice, honestly. Um, as of right now, man, I've got to say, I really don't like this shoe much at all. Don't know why. You can see what do it. Oh, <laughs> it's got the tongue moving. But uh no, nah, honestly, I don't really think I like this shoe too much at all. It does have a black bottom, which I've always liked black bottoms on shoes. Just cause, you know, it won't really yellow anything. It, you just wear it as much as you want. Here's a side by side on this one, it does have the yellow swoosh on this side. So that's kind of cool how I guess that's where the tour yellow comes in at. But on the other side it has of course the stitching popping out again so that's kind of cool how they did that you have the yellow on one side and the stitching on the other side so that's kind of cool how you only have one but still uh, I don't I don't think it's my cup of tea it comes with uh, red laces and yellow laces that you can put in there which I guess if I was going to wear them I would Probably just to bring more yellow into it. I'd probably just go ahead and rock the yellow laces on that. Um, 
all in all, I mean, it's not a terrible shoe. It's just a shoe I really just actually don't see myself really wearing. There's the yellow insole again. I just really don't see myself wearing it. The leather is really nice. It is tumbled. It is soft. It's, you know, it's not a terrible shoe. Nobody really wanted these, I guess, because they're still sitting on the Nike app from like a size 10, 10 and a half up. But all in all, it's just not a sneaker that I actually see myself wearing much. So I'm glad I'm able to bring, you know, a little short review for you guys on it. But in all honesty, I just really don't think I'm going to cop these because I don't think that I would wear these that much. So to me, it's not a bad sneaker. It's definitely not up there with some of the best Jordan ones to launch this year. Um, definitely towards i would put it in yeah, towards the bottom close to the middle of the pack i guess but let me know what you guys think down below um again i think this is going to be a pass for me i appreciate you homie for letting me do this for you let uh, or letting me do this uh it definitely i appreciate it as always um yeah let me know what you guys think down below like i said in the beginning hit that subscribe button ring that bell hit that like button for me hit the share button let's try to get my videos out there let's try to get this 20k together i appreciate you guys and let me know what y'all think about these in the comment section below peace love y'all